It's almost <laughs> over. Like, I'm giving you the last massage right now. Yeah. I think he's basically just making sure that I never want to have a massage again. <laughs> that was yesterday's. <laughs> ah! No, that was yesterday's massage. But yeah, today is this nice and light massage. Pre, nothing, nothing yeah. fancy. I think hindsight, I think I've seen it coming for a while, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like, it's just a. Uh, it's funny actually, you read some interviews that I did like a few years ago. Right. I was like, I start even then I started to say like, ah, oh, it's becoming a bit boring side thing. You know? Yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. Of like, it's so formulaic and it's kind of funny because it's all gone crazy now the last few weeks. It's right, like right, right, right. Going attacking right. where and whatever. Yeah. But it's still a bit, yeah. I think I'm just bored. I think it's more me. I'm bored of the sport rather than the sport's become boring. Ah. That's the realization. Yeah, I guess I didn't really realize it at the time, but yeah, winning that last stage of the Giro was kind of mm -hmm. like a bit of a a tick box moment, you know? So kind of, yeah. okay, I've done that now, what? Yeah. I've kind of, not I've completed cycling, because I definitely yeah. got, like, didn't get anywhere near that, but no. it was kind of like a, what well, I was capable in the sport, I think I went above and beyond what I ever thought I'd be even be capable of. And yeah. Yeah, I obviously went to the Giro, I was really proud of that moment, because we went to the Giro and it was like, okay, we want to try and win a stage, and we managed to do it, and it was kind of like, yeah, geez, okay. Yeah. What's next? Yeah, what is next? And I kind of sat down away from the, after the gym and was like, what is next? What do we try and do? What, what do we want to do next year? And it was actually, obviously eventually, after a couple of months of thinking about it, it was like, actually, just want to, yeah, step away from the sport. Right. Interesting. But it hasn't sunk in yet still. No. I'm kind of, it, does, it just feels like a normal season, a normal off season's coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll really hit me. I don't, I don't know if it'll hit me tomorrow, the right. reality. So what? I think when next year, when guys start racing again, I'm just like, oh. Oh. Huh. Okay. And you've always been really cheery. You haven't really flipped out. Tomorrow, do you think I should bring some Kleenexes? Or are you going to compose yourself? Or are there going to be emotions? Or No idea. Are you going to give me a kiss? Well, that's what I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? What do you man? think? Are emotions going to set in right then? Or are emotions going to set in more on the bus? Depends if Mike wins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. Or if I win, could you imagine that? Ooh. What do we do in that situation? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. You never thought about I, that one. I don't you? know what's going to happen tomorrow. I think it's just going to get to the finish and then it'll, yeah. maybe it'll hit me or something, you know? I'll have a towel ready regardless what happens. Dude. Wow, For the winner of the Lombardia, Dan Martin. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, it's such yeah, a weird feeling, eh? It's weird when you have uh, normally if you're, you see Rory Lesbia? Yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, ah, oh, no, no problem. Yeah, yeah exactly, you pass the yeah. finish line and everything is like, boom. Well, even now, though, like, fuck. No, but I say, it's, it's like, like something good. special, you know? Like, yeah. you give the life for this. Dieci, nove, otto, sette, sei, cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno, parte in Lombardia, venti, ventuno. It's just the, 
I still really love the process. That's why I'm so fit now still. You know, I love training, love love that part of it. But the fun side of it's gone, I think, from the level of sacrifice that's required. I think it's massively underestimated what you have to, what we have to do as professional cyclists to be at the top of the sports. I'm putting so much effort in at home and really like missing out on things all the time in normal life and it's just not worth it anymore. And that's where the fun that's where the fun drops away because you have to the level of sacrifice has just gone more and more the last to be competitive. You know, everybody sees you standing on the podium and kind of saying, yeah, you could still win races next year. It's like, yeah, of course I could physically, but it's the mental commitment that it takes to maintain that focus. Cause you, I realise that you never actually turn off the brain. Even in off-season, yeah, okay, you're not training, you're relaxing, but in the back of your mind, you're still thinking about next season and you never switch off. And I think that's going to be the big release that when I do stop now, it's going to be like, okay, Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. How are you? Who is that? Oh, it's you. Can you tell that was the wife? Nice, man. Still a coat. Look at that. Look at your recovery. That's it. Still building as well. It's the last one. That's my last coat. Not your last coat. Like that. No. <laughs> right, where's the bus? <laughs> Put the shades on. Not a boy. Right there. You're gonna go right at those lights there and just right there. On the sign on podium, I was really like kind of was emotional because of obviously the occasion. It's always amazing to start a monument. Yeah. It's always good to well, see a bit of know, it's, um, satisfaction. Now I'm like, when, when, when you win, yeah. it's like, in the race, I was kind of just focused yeah. on the race and thinking how hard it was all the time, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. And I had 15 years of only thinking of cycling, so it's time for a rest. I'm just empty. I felt today, that was my standout feeling today. I felt empty. <laughs> Mentally and physically. Mentally, you. I've given everything the last two years and the last 15 years, and now I'm just empty. Empty. Flat. That was one hell of a ride. I hope you realise how freaking strong you are. Oh, thanks, man. Congratulations. Congrats, buddy. That was a really good sticky bottle. <laughs> <laughs>